Yo, what is up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Welcome in. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me this evening or this morning or this afternoon whenever you're watching this. Uh, really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, for those of you that are new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche uh, product reviews on mainly shaving products and some skincare products. I take a deep dive, uh, look at the products inside and out and then learn from the artisan uh, what's inside and also the inspiration behind it uh, so that's kind of what I do for those of you that are returning I appreciate you so much if you're subscribed even better you're simply sexier and better and you know it um, really appreciate you guys showing the support um, day in and day out here really really helps me to get through uh, my normal day and uh, it's something that I look forward to, to seeing is your comments every day. And uh, no matter what is happening in my day, I know that uh, we have a really tight knit community here and we take care of one another. And we build um, relationships and friendships um, every day in this community. And for that, I am, you know, really um, grateful for and also proud to be a part of. So. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing another installment from 345 Soap. This is their August offering, and it's called General Patton. Before I get started, General Patton um, is... Um, so John over at 345 Soap is um, doing a very, very special thing and basically giving 10% of all General Patton sales. So any products with um, the General Patton line whether it be soap or, you know, splash or solid cologne, 10% uh, will be going over to the Mission 22, um, um, uh, what do you call that, um, charity. And they help um, veterans and um, other people that need help. And so um, really, really, really um, proud to be a part of this. And um, it's really cool that knowing that even though I'm just getting my subscription for this month, some of that is going to help people in need, and especially those that have really, you know, put everything on the line for us. Um, so for that, I'm really, really excited about. So let's get started. Um, so General Patton, August, right? I'm on their barbershop um, level, so I get um, all the products. Um, but everybody got this if you were part of the, and I'm not sure if you get this when you order the soap or this was for all the subscribers, but you get this dog tag, uh, which is pretty cool. And it says uh, 345 soap general patent TAC ops 22. So this is again, mission 22, right? Is the charity and then it has their website there. So pretty cool the dog tag. Um, that they sent along with this, which is pretty awesome. So I wanted to show that. Um, the soap, um, again, comes in with their activated charcoal. As you can see here, there's really just olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, and then castor oil. Um, that's it, really simple. I really like their soaps, it's really good. It always has a strongly scented. And this is no different man it smells so good general patent is a um this is a very warm i get a lot of vanilla um and woods from this scent it's a nice warm evening uh definitely can be worn out in formal uh settings uh scent so this is their soap i'll put that off on the side and we'll start with our normal routine. So here is the soap. Tac Ops 22, 345 soap. Always with the very, very simple, um, almost uh, comic book like um, art on the front, which is quite unique. Don't see this often. It's one of the hallmarks of 345 soap. Beautiful American flag in the back. Um, general Patton, which was a very, very well-known general during the war, World War. This guy was a fighter, man, tough as nails. Um, 
This guy helped defeat the Nazis. Helped free the world. Anyway. This is side label. Which I love. I love that they have side labels here. Again, Tech Ops 22. General Patton. And this comes in the Trinity base. Um, again, this is in my top three um, soap bases. I think I want to start doing top five now. I think three is just... I think that's unrealistic, um, but that's a whole different story. Definitely a top five base for sure. And nothing on the back. Let's go ahead and let's open this up. Let's take our first look. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yo. All right. Where do we start? Okay. So one, I just love how, um, there's his soaps always have like this translucent qualities. Um, and I'm not sure if it's because of the pre-shave oil that is put in with the soap. That's another thing about 345 soap, but what's so good about them is everything gets put in. And it's so creamy. It's such a rich, rich lather. Super slick lather. Really, really great product. Um, look at this pour. I just love the fact that it's like, you can tell it's hand mixed. Um, it's truly going to get, you're going to get something different obviously right look at the colors um and then just of so like the word that comes to mind is fatty um but you can see like all the oils it just this is just gonna create a such a nicely dense lather um and you got some pockets of uh fragrance oils there which is gonna be like this is why i always go and go down vertically instead of screaming off the top um this one you're probably gonna have to really watch where you um grab though other but uh, other than that i mean this is just so beautiful i mean there's nothing wrong with this at all i just love how it's just so unique it's very original it's handmade right it's handmade folks this is why we buy it let's do our first smell okay this has more of that wood almost I don't know if there's like uh it has like that really it's a it's it's one of his darker scents that he's ever put out um so it's a very woody it almost had like i don't know if because of the concentrations that i have in this particular scent like this area it's almost got like an oud type of scent to it um but i know there's no oud in here at least i don't think there is um but it gives that off that that vibe it's very very woody i have a very strong pocket here you almost get like amber and vanilla, uh, but definitely a very woody base. This is, um, this reminds me, this has almost like a, a oud um, scent to it. It's very dark. Um, it's very nice. I like it. It's very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and let's go read. Um, so he writes, in what seems like a lifetime, um, ago, I was in the 82nd Airborne, so we wanted to do something special for the August soap, General Patton, our namesake. A long time ago, my late grandfather said that somewhere down the line, Uncle George and I were related. One day I'll make that lineage. We will be donating 10% of all General Patton sales in August to them. Please feel to join us and donate here. And that's uh, mission22.com. Scent notes, tonka bean, amber, powder, guayac wood, cedar, sandalwood, and a dash of vanilla. This is a warm, complex scent, a scent of victory. TAC Ops 22. What's that about? TAC Ops is short for Tactical Operations 22. We'll keep reading. We wanted to get back to those that served our great nation, and the charity Mission 22 would be, great, would be a great place to start. Their mission is to help all veterans with suicide prevention and any mental health help that they need. So again, this is a $16.95 for 5.8 ounces. Just a great price. Really great soap. Love 345 soap. Love them so much. John, just an amazing guy. John is a police officer also, which is pretty cool. Um, I've always been pro-police and Really, really appreciate the work that he's doing in Colorado. Let's go ahead and give this um, splash a smell. 
Mmm, yummy. Definitely just like the soap. Very woody, dark, complex, warm. Let's go ahead and do the bomb. As you can see, the bomb is on the uh, very liquidy side. So the bomb has the scent, but in a much, um, it's not as strong as the soap and the um, splash. So if you're looking for something that is not as powerful, um, the bomb definitely is going to be for you. And then um, obviously there's the candle. This is made out of soy wax. Um, I'm not gonna open this. This is your standard. Um, I'll open it. It's maybe not everybody has seen my reviews before. Uh, this is what their candle looks like. It's a big candle, folks. Um, really, really great candle. Um, so that's what that looks like. And then we'll finish with the first time ever, and he's launching this. Um, is a solid cologne. And I like the, first off, I like the size of it. It's much smaller. You can fit easily in a bag, um, a duffel bag, not duffel bag, but you know, like a, um, a waist pouch um, or in your pocket. Um, but this is how it comes. Let's go ahead and put this up. So it's got a plastic cover on the top here. Then the plastic cover just comes right off so it's like a roller um a glide stick yeah that smells exactly like the scent so a very woody um it's almost like getting ready for the uh, for the autumn or the fall but um yeah in fact you know what let's go ahead and put this on and see very interested to see how it what kind of consistency it is compared to PAA. Okay, so it's not as greasy as PAA. Um, but I'll have to do a test to see how long the scent lasts compared to PAA. Um, what's inside this? Oh, it's beeswax. Shea butter and almond oil. Interesting. Really, really cool. I like this idea. Uh, solid colognes are just, uh, to me, a no-brainer for artisans in the shea soap industry. Um, people buy the soap for the fragrance, and they use it, and they put the after shea splash, and they want to smell like it. And some of them use their, um, you know, use their favorite soaps all the time, and. Um, a solid cologne is perfect for that to continue that scent on throughout the day. So, hope you folks enjoyed. This was General Patton uh, from 345 Soap. As always, I appreciate you folks stopping by. Um, think about um, either picking up John Patton, uh, General Patton, or uh, maybe making a donation towards a um, charity if you can, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and help these people out. And, um, yeah. So, as always, take care of one another out there, and I appreciate you for stopping by. This was General Patton from 345 Soap. So, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.